Today's home workout is a full body workout. This is going to be burning calories, getting you healthy and fit. And as your qualified online trainer, Lucy Windham Ray, I've put together a really fun workout. Now you can do this in the tiniest amount of space. You don't need any equipment. And I asked our community, Lucy's squad, what were your favorite moves? So I've put together the top moves. So you've got 20 moves that we're going to be doing today. So no repeaters. And each one of the moves we're going to do for a duration of 60 seconds. And I'm going to give you a 15 second preview of each move. So it's going to be a super fun workout. You and I are going to do it together now in real time. One thing I would say is um, do make sure you've got some water. And then the first exercise is actually going to be part of our warm up. So let's get into it right now. Here, you and I are going to get healthy and fit together. So let's get started. So let me just quickly show you move number one. So move number one, we're simply going to be doing straight leg kicks. All right, so we're going to do this for 60 seconds. So let's get ready and let's go three, two, one. So this move was a very popular choice and a lot of you from Lucy's squad really wanted this exercise. And I think the reason being is, one, it is a full body move. So we are really working your abs with this, we're working your arms, you're working your legs, it's also really good for mobility, for flexibility, for coordination, for toning, even increasing that calorie burn. It really ticks every single box. It's low impact, but it's still what we call high intensity. All right, that's good. So let's keep that going, doing really well. So we've got 20 moves today. Each one is different. That's why it's gonna be a really fun workout. It's gonna fly by. And then we're gonna go straight on to the next exercise. So let's just go another few seconds on this. Keep that upper body nice and straight. All right, well done. And we are now finished on move number one. So you just march while I show you the next move. So for the next one, we're gonna be doing a skater's lunge. I'm gonna show you two options. I'm gonna show you a harder one and an easier one. All right, so let's get ready. Come into position. Let's go three, two, one. So this is the hardest skater's lunge. On the other side is a slightly easier variation. So just keep going for me. So we're going from one side to the other. So this is a really good multi-directional move. It is really amazing at working the waist, the thighs, the arms literally all over and it really gets the heart rate up so it's a really good calorie burning exercise. Now to work it harder just take that hand down deeper make that range of motion bigger. All right that's good keeping that going you're doing really well as I said if you find it too hard doing the jump then just follow on the opposite side do the easier move. Last little bit, and so many of you guys as well really liked this move. It was a popular choice. Okay, so next move, you just watch, you just carry on marching on the spot. You're gonna come into a split stance. We do a bow and arrow arm either side, then we do a knee lift. Bow and arrow arm and knee lift, all right? So let's get ready, three, two, and one. So bow and arrow arm, one knee, one knee and bow and arrow arm take it knee and knee that's good draw that arm back and back take it knee lift knee lift so this one here is amazing for your waist and your abs as well as working through the arms and the legs and you know i'm all about getting you the best results possible in the shortest time and this is where doing these multi compound moves really really do exactly that and really reach that back feel that through the waist knee up and up that's good squeeze it back and back doing really well all right that's good let's go a few more so this one everyone can do this all right that's good so it's only the really hard intensity moves that I'm showing two variations. And let's pull that back and back and just do one more for me. All right, that's good. Let's just march that out. Okay, so for move number 
four, we're flying through this. The next choice was Charlie's Angels Lunges. You, so many of you guys love this one. So let me just show you, you carry on marching, or if you want to, you could do a little jog while I'm showing you. We're gonna lunge from one side, you come to the center and take it over to the other. We're gonna go one side, center, then to the other. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm also gonna show a slightly easier variation. So let's get ready, three, two, one. So take it down, lunge it down, come up, take it to the other side, down, come up, that's good. And lunge that down and back, keeping that nice control, that's good. So here, we're really working through the inner and outer thighs. All right, that's where it's really important. We work the whole of your body and your body travels in three different planes of motion. And this way here, we're really engaging the lateral motion, which in a lot of other workouts, people miss out. So it's really important. We always engage every angle. All right, that's good. Keeping that going, doing really well. As I said, I'm showing a slightly easier variation as well if you perhaps find it too hard to come all the way down and reach out across and back, doing really well. And you will really feel this one in those thighs. All right, that's good, and march it out. Okay, so next move, move number five. This is all about those arms. So for this one, again, you just march or you could do a little jog on the spot while I'm showing you. For this, we're gonna be in a split stance. You have your palms facing up and we're just gonna do tiny, tiny pulses. Let's get ready, three, two, one, is pulse those arms up. So, loads of you liked this one from Lisa's Squad. This is such a good move. It is really amazing at working your arms. So this one here, I'm just moving so you can see. You can see where I'm working, you can see that in those triceps on there. So this one obviously isn't a full body. This is a little bit more isolated, just working the tricep. Let's now just change that leading leg and just lean a bit deeper. Really feel that pulse that up, that's good. So we're really working through those arms, you know, and having strong arms just means when we go shopping, we can carry more bags. So many bonuses to having strong arms. All right, that's good. Let's just keep that going. Doing really, really well. Just checking in with you. Let's keep going. Remember, just 20 minutes today. That's all we're doing. And let's just now release those arms. Fantastic. So you just march or jog on the spot while I show you the next move. So for this one, we're gonna be working those thighs. We're literally gonna go one side to the other. Simple as that, all right? So we'll get ready. Let's just shake out those arms. We'll have a few seconds and then we're gonna start. So this one, I'm only gonna show one variation because it's not high or low impact. So feet hip width distance part, tummy tight. Let's lift one leg, then straight to the other. That's it. And we're just gonna keep going. So what is really important while you're doing this, keep those tummy muscles pulled in. We've got a slight bend, so it's like you're in a slight squat and just transfer that weight from one side to the other. That's good. Now, what is really important with exercise? We want to always feel challenged, right? And so for example, like this one, we're doing this 60 seconds. First 30 seconds is not too bad. And you can probably feel now that challenge starting to feel that burn a little bit. You, I never want to hear you going, ow, 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 like that, because it should, exercise should never hurt like that. It should just feel challenging, all right? And I think that's really good point. Don't do workouts, especially if the trainer is doing that. It just shows you've got to feel challenged. Exercise shouldn't be painful. All right, and we are done on that one. Amazing. So next exercise we're going to be doing is... Let me have a little look at my notes. Okay, this one was a really popular one as well. So let me just show you, you march your jog. We want to be doing a curtsy with rainbow arms, all right? How nice is this one? Now, if you have got bad knees and you don't like doing that, I'm gonna show you an alternative. So let's go 60 seconds. Now, as I said, if you don't like doing this one for your knees, then just go 
for doing this. There's a really nice alternative for you. All right, so we're taking it knee down and back. But again, this one, it's a low impact move, but still high intensity and nice control. Keeping that going, that's good. Big dynamic moves. All right, that's it. Well done. And go from one side to the other. And if you are part of Lucy's squad, because this video is for you, we are just simply the best online community, all about positivity, support, conversation, and encouragement. All right, that's good. And we are now done on that move. Okay, so again, you march, jog on the spot, just watch the next move. So the next one, we're gonna do three knee lifts and then a kick, all right? So three knee lifts and a kick. So let's get ready. Let's go three, two, and one. So take it one, two, three, and then kick. Take it one, two, three, and then kick. Go one, two, three, at the kick. Take it one, two, three, at the kick. Now, if you want to, you can speed this up or just keep it at a slower pace. Just work the intensity that suits you on there. All right, that's good. What I do want you to focus on doing is keeping the upper body nice and straight for me. So it's three knees and then give me that kick. Three knees and give me that kick. So this one here, amazing for your legs, for your abs and your arms. That's good. And kick. So it's one two and three and kick take it one two three add that kick one two three oops and kick there we go all right then well done so for the next move this is actually a really new one that i designed the other day so not many of you are aware of this but i think loads of you are going to love this one anyway um but there were a few people that have picked up on this from my most recent video so let me just show you start with taking the leg in front and then we just swing the arms across all right so let's just tap that foot out and now add in those arms you've got it that's what we're going to be doing for 60 seconds now really with that kind of point that foot across so it's not coming just directly in front bring it over and then we're really swinging through the arms. So where I'm really working right now, while you are doing this with me, is we are really working through those core muscles, through your waist. All right, that's good. And again, it's a big dynamic movement. And think about it, you know, we're adding in all those different planes of motion. And so by the more we do that in the workout, then we're working so many extra smaller muscles, muscles that help with stabilization through your joints. So this also means we're getting stronger, we're gonna help prevent injuries. All right, that's good. Keeping that going. 10, so we're halfway through the workout. Isn't that just flown by? All right, just march it out for me. So let me just show you the next move. Next one is gonna be really fun. You count yourself, but what we're gonna be doing is, we're gonna be 10 swimming arms, travel around the room, then we do 10, imagine we're on a bicycle, right? Doing 10 cycling arms, so our arms are pushing those pedals, all right? So let's get ready, let's go three, two and one. So take it 10, move it around the room, nine. Let's go eight, go seven, go six and five. Take it four, go three, two and one. Now hold it here and big cycling arms, one. Let's go two, take it three, go four and five, six, take it seven. Let's go eight, nine and 10. And back to those big arms and it doesn't really matter you can just march on the spot you can stay still just keep doing those swimming arms so we've got six let's go seven take it eight go nine and ten hold it here imagine those arms are cycling ten go nine go eight go seven 
and six. Take it five, go four and three, two and one. We're gonna keep going until that timer reaches the finish. Two, let's go three, take it four and five, six, seven, swim faster, eight, nine and 10 and just release, well done. Okay, so for the next move, again, you march just while I show you. The next one we're gonna be doing is we're gonna do a really deep squat. We're gonna come up and we're gonna do a kick. Deep squat and a kick. Um, if you don't like doing squats, what I want you to do, well, I'll show you. I'm gonna give you an alternative, all right? So let's get ready. So deep squat for me, come up and kick it. Squat down and kick. Take it deep squat and kick. Deep squat and kick. Keep those toes slightly lifted when you're doing that squat. That just means then all the weight is coming through the back of the legs. So squat and kick really put some power. Remember, we've got no repeaters today. You're only doing this move for me once and we have only got 30 seconds left on it. Squat low and kick. Squat that low, kick it up. Squat it and kick. Doing really well. So again, full body move here. Working the glutes, you're working your thighs, you're working your abs, or even engaging through the upper body with the arms. All right, nearly done. Squat low, give me that kick. Squat low, and you can see we're not doing any jumping, but we're getting out of breath. We're doing high intensity, but low impact. All right, well done. Okay, so for the next move, and this is a really popular choice from Lisa Squad. Let me just show you again, march or jog on the spot just while I'm showing you. You're gonna be having your feet slightly wider than shoulder width distance apart. Tummy is tight. We're gonna reach from one side, center to the other. Then bring your arms up, twist, center, side. Then reach it back over, just alternating from one to the other. So let's get ready. In position, tummy tight. Arms here, reach it down, come back to the center, reach it across. Arms here, twist it to one side, to the other. Hold it here, reach it over, come back and over. I'm just gonna change my angle slightly so you can see. Then twist, center, twist, hold it here, reach it down, center, side, come up and twist it here and twist. Bring it back, so now I'm really working into your waist. Twist that around, so we're really activating those internal and external obliques, that's good. Add that twist and twist. Keep that going, doing really well. Reach it up and back, arms up, twist that around. Keep those hips facing forwards for me. Reach down, center and down. Take those arms up, rotate round, take it to your fullest range of motion. Reach that side and side back up and let's just finish one more let's go one more of these and we are done on that one so the next move i'm going to be really honest none of you wanted this one um but i have put it in because it is a tough one but then lucy squad you are tough as well and this is about challenging ourselves this move is amazing it's called the charleston kicks i'm going to show you two variations just you march while I just show you. So basically, we kick up and we come back down. We kick up, we come back down. I'm gonna show you a high impact and a low impact. You might not love, love this workout, but trust me, your body is gonna love you for it. So let's get ready. Let's go three, two, and one. So I'm gonna show you the harder variation. On the other side, you can do the easier one. So kick it up, jump it back, kick it up, jump that back. That's good, keeping that going. So what we'll do, after 30 seconds, we're gonna change and take that to the other leg. That's good. And really, think how powerful, think how strong you are. All right, that's good. And let's go one more on this leg. And down, change, and now. Kick it up and down, kick that up and down. So this is a really top. It's really gonna get that heart rate up. That's good. But like I said, if you don't wanna do the jump, follow the other alternative I'm showing you. Give me 10 more seconds. That's good, you and I. As your trainer, I'm here getting you to be the healthiest and fittest, best version of you. And we oh, are done. 
So let's just quickly do a sweat check-in. How are you feeling? But guess what? We haven't got long to go. You are doing really well, so stick with me. So let me show you the next move. Now this one is a new one, again, but a few of you that have done this ab workout, it's amazing if you haven't done it, I'll leave a link. Do that at tomorrow or something. Um, this is incredible for the abs. So you start, let me just show you, you march your jog on the spot. All we're gonna do, knees are soft, tummy is tight. Just imagine you're stirring a big pot of soup. We go from one side to the other and we do it slowly. All right, so let's come into position. So we've got tummy muscles tight, knees are bent, abs pulled in. So imagine we're stirring that soup around, come back to the side and then stir that around again. All right, so imagine, keep it really slow. Keep those abdominal muscles pulled in tight. And really what you're doing, you keep your hips still, but we're doing the rotation through the upper body. And this is where now I'm really working into those waist muscles of yours, into your core, into your obliques. Keep that nice and soft and really keep those tummy muscles pulled in. So imagine that big bowl of soup, stirring that round and then back, doing really well. Okay, that's good. And we've just got about 15 seconds to go. Big stir around, keep those hips still. Feel that through those waist muscles and back round, keeping that going. That's good. And last stir, perfect, well done. So you march or jog on the spot while I show you the next move. So for this one, we are going to be doing, it's a tough one, but again, you're tough. We are doing, in and out star jumps. Now, if you don't want the jump, I'm gonna be showing you on the other side, the low impact alternative. All right, so let's get ready, come into position. All right, deep breath in, deep breath out. Start here and we're gonna go three, take it two and one. Let's jump up and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. That's good, keeping that going. Well done. So this one is tough, but we're only doing this move once today. By the way, if anyone thinks I'm really tall, I'm not. I've got such low ceilings on there. All right, that's good. Keeping that going. So the good news is we are over 30 seconds on this one. Let's keep going. So this one's really gonna get that heart rate up. Stick with me. 20 seconds, that's good. Doing well. In, out. So, total body move. You've got less than 10. Stick with me. And let's go last five, take it four, three, two, and one. And just march it out, well done. Okay, so we have nearly finished today's workout. We've only got a few exercises left. So just get your heart rate back down, march or jog on the spot. Keep it really light and low. Let me just show you the next move. So for the next one, we're gonna have your arms up and we're just gonna do a booty squeeze and a chest press, all right? Or a chest opener on there. Nice and easy, really, again, a full body. So let's get ready into position. Arms are up, palms are facing in. And let's just squeeze that back. So just squeeze that leg behind. What is important, keep your core straight. So see, I'm not bending forwards, keeping my upper body nice and straight. Now travel this around your rim if you want, or you can just keep it on the spot. So this here, we're activating the gluteus maximus. We're working through those abs as well because they're kind of working as an anchor as I take that leg behind. We're also working through the pectorials major, through your chest muscle, that's good. And squeeze, keep that going. Tummy is tight, doing really well. Open, close. That's good. And remember, next time you do this workout, you don't have to listen to me talk. I always say, you can mute me and just put on your favorite songs and squeeze it back, nearly done on this one. Squeeze 
and just release. Okay, so next one. So many of you guys really love this move. I have to say, I love this one as well. So again, march, jog, grab your water, just watch what I'm gonna show you is your next move. So this one, we're in a split stance. We're just gonna drive that knee up, all right? So this one, you can control the speed. If you wanna work a bit harder, go a little bit faster. So let's get ready. We're gonna come into position. Okay, and we're off. So this one here is amazing for your standing leg, for this leg, for those abs, for those arms, for everything. That's it, and you really drive that up. All right, that's good, keeping it going. After 30 seconds, we're gonna change and work that on the other leg. So I'm only showing the one variation here, because if you wanna go a little bit lighter, just don't go as fast on there. Don't make the move as deep. All right, that's good. Keeping that going, doing really well. Let's just change legs now, take that back and drive that up. And if you're not already part of Lucy's squad, as I said, come and join us. And um, definitely Lucy's squad, I can't wait to read in the comments if you like this workout. These were your top 20 moves, well, and a couple of mine that I've thrown in that I know you might not like, but I know are really good for you. All right, that's good. Let's keep it going, because my job as your trainer is to get you to be your healthiest and fittest version of you. Okay, brilliant. So for the next one, let's just get our breath back. Again, quick little sweat check in with you guys. Deep breath in, deep breath out. We've really finished today. Let's get ready. Next one is, let me just show you. You're gonna have one leg in front, circle it out, behind and back. All right, so this is a bit more of an isolated move to work this area here. So if you get ready, you might want to use a chair for balance. Let's come into position. That knee is slightly bent. Three, two, one. Point it in front to this side and behind. Travel it in front to the side and behind. And for me, my job as a trainer is to push you to your maximum, not to a point. That's why I really stress. I don't want you groaning or rolling around the floor in pain because that's also not good. What is good is we just work to that point of challenge, you know, and it's really important we just keep going through exercise, but not through pain. We work through challenge, but not through pain. Let's change that now to the other leg. Take it in front to the side and back and travel it in front and back. And I'm giving you very short recovery times because I don't wanna allow your heart rate to come all the way down. It's really important that we maintain that to a working heart rate, all right, that if we then take those long periods of rest and we take it straight back down. All right, that's good. So let's just keep that going. Are now done on that exercise. So do you want the good news? We've just got two exercises left. So next one is, it's a tough one. We're gonna do a deep squat, and then you're gonna go four punches. Deep squat, I'm gonna show again alternative if you don't like doing the squats. So let's get ready, come into position. I want you to have your feet hip width distance apart, knees slightly bent, tummy tight, and let's get ready. We're gonna squat that down, we're gonna to aim to touch the ground. Let's go three, two, one. Squat low, touch the ground, come up. Four power punches, three, two, and one. Squat low, come up, take it one, two, three and four, squat low, come up, go one, two, three and four, squat low, come up, take it one, two, three and four, and low, coming up, go four, three, two and one, squat low, coming up, take it one, two, three and four, squat low, that's good. Doing really well, let's keep going, nearly finished. Squat low, make sure those knees don't come over the line of the toes. So we squat low, give me those four power punches. Punch as hard as you can. Squat and punch it four, three, two and one. Squat low and take it four, three, two and one. And again, finish off, four punches for me. Four, go three, two and one, and just two more. One and two, and we are done on that one. Okay, so are you ready for the final move? Move 20. Move 20 is simply freestyle. We're gonna have some fun. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna count you down. I want you to either do crazy dancing, jog on the spot, march on the spot, star jump, skip, do whatever you want, start from now. Give me 60 seconds. 
use your whole room and as your online trainer i'm going to give you a little prep talk right now i want you to remember this is about your future health what you are doing right now is you are investing in tomorrow's health, all right? Exercise isn't necessarily just about how we look on the outside, it's about how we feel on the inside. So you carry on marching, jogging, doing whatever you're doing, keep moving. You are now also helping with your mental health. We are gonna get rid of anxiety, we're gonna release those feel-good hormones, you're gonna have so much more energy. You should feel super proud of yourself because you are taking care of your body right now. Give me another 15 seconds, so whatever you're doing, if you're doing that crazy dancing, carry on. If you're doing high knees, jog it out faster. If you're marching on the spot, keep marching with good form. Keep going and give me another, let's go another five seconds. Four, take it. Three, two, and one. And you are done. So what I want you to do now is just march it out for me. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Let's just circle through those shoulders and you know what's coming? Straight away, I'm gonna to have to give you one of my big high fives to say well done for doing that. Let's just take that heart rate, bring it back down now, just a march that out. Right. But I hope you like this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, if you want to find out more about healthy living, click here, come to my blogs. Also come and see that amazing health transfer transformations. And don't forget, I've got so many also online courses. I've got my audio workouts. I've got everything for you. But the most important thing is you are part of Lucy Squad, which is the best online community. If you're not already, come and join us on Facebook. So well done. Another high five. And I'll see you back here on my channel tomorrow for another workout. But really well done today and come and stretch with me right now.